On Tuesday, we found out that the Swiss unemployment rate rose from 2.5% in February 2020 to 2.9% in March. The UK house prices in March were 3% higher than the same month a year earlier, and small business confidence in US economy dropped in March. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we have the all important FOMC meeting minutes from back in March 15th. And although things have changed quite a lot in our lives since then, the minutes could still provide some guidance for the short term Forex traders. Today, I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which has been having difficulty bringing, breaking above the key resistance level of 0.9845. It regained energy last week and broke above the daily Ichimoku cloud on Monday just to pull back on Tuesday. But earlier during Wednesday's Asian session, the bulls appear to have regained momentum. The future cloud appears bullish as well, so we could see a revisit of at least 0.98 in the near term. Longer term, we're eyeing the top of dollar Swiss's normal range, which are 0.99 and parity, respectively. What are your thoughts on the dollar Swiss pair? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.